What's up guys, it's Roger and welcome back to the channel. And today we're playing some more Trials of Osiris, this weekend on Endless Veil, vale, which is a pretty solid map, especially if you implement this build and strategy that I'm going to show you today, starting on our subclass here. Obviously we have the nice Nova Bomb, Healing Rift, Blink, which is a big part of this, and Scatter Nades here, and then obviously for our melee, you know. We have so many great choices, but I think we'll go with Pocket Singularity, not, like not because I have to choose it, you know, because like clearly Bungie wouldn't do that to us. They would never just make only one singular Warlock class for the most part, like only has one, you know, actual me melee. Of it. <laughs> Anyways, over here on the aspects, we have on Feed the Void for some Devour procs, and we have Child of the Old Gods, which we call him on my channel, Clarence. Clarence is my son from the Void. You spawn your Rift down. This little guy's going to go out, lock down some area, do some damage, weaken targets, a lot of good stuff for us. Now, in this build, the things I want to talk about for our strategy, I want to keep in mind for you. When we talk about the strategy, I'm going to talk about that more when we get to the gameplay break down but there's some big parts that i need to keep in mind for you of what the actual strategy is a few of those components are the blink and the scatter grenades there's a few more big components we'll get to those very soon but let's finish off talking about the subclass first first of all we have fragment here echo of dilation which is my favorite echo in the entire game this is while you're crouched you sneak faster and gain enhanced radar resolution obviously some good free base stats there which we love to see stats for free you just can't go wrong with that unless it's like plus 20 to being a stupid boy in which case don't take that one but Mobility and intellect, yeah, we'll take that every day of the week. On top of that, the in-tuned radar helping us pick apart exactly where our enemies are helps us know where to aggress upon them or fight them from a distance. After that, we have Echo of Persistence. This is going to give you an extra 5 seconds to your initial proc of your devour, so it goes from 10 seconds to 15 seconds, as well as any overshields or invis your teammates might give you will be longer duration. Third over here, we have Echo of Expulsion, which when you do get an ability kill will proc a secondary explosion, so if enemies are actually really holding hands, this can take them out pretty easily. And last but not least, we have Echo of Vigilance, so when you do defeat an enemy while your shields are depleted, you get a full void over shield. You can then use that void over shield to actually aggress upon your enemies or use it for extra health so you can fall back. Next up, we have the Round Robin Hand Cannon. Now, you can use a different 120 if you want to, but I think 120s play very well on this map, especially with the way we're going to be using it today. Uh, I like to peek down mid, challenge the snipers and whatnot with our scatter grenades, getting there very quickly because of our blink. We'll talk about that more in a second, but a good combo with your scatter nades just to get the extra little tick of damage out there in case your nades don't one-shot them, a round robin, a 120 hand cannon just in general, is really perfect for that. This one also has kill clip on it. I don't have one crafted. I don't care enough to grind PvE to get one crafted. So unfortunately, I have the terrible combination of subsistence and kill clip. So when I can proc kill clip, great, I can two tap, but sometimes I get a kill, and if I hit it as a three tap, the subsistence just immediately refills my entire magazine, and then I can't reload and I can't proc kill clip. Um, so that's kind of goofy, but still a very solid gun. And on top of that, we want to get aggressive sometimes. And if we want to do that, we're going to be using this retold tail shotgun right here. Here. Obviously, it's looking very fresh, but on top of that, I have on 100 range for this thing. I do use smoothbore. If that's something you're like, oh, is smoothbore good? Yeah, smoothbore is fine on shotguns nowadays. Sometimes it can be a little goofy, but for the most part, it's fine with the actual, like, organized shotgun sprays we have nowadays. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Next up, accurized rounds, and then quick draw and snapshot, which is my favorite combination of perks on any shotgun in the entire game. But besides that, we also have our armor and mods over here. I'm going to be using Astrocyte first, so we have a bunch of buffs to our actual blinks, but the most most important thing is extra blink distance so we can get down to parts of the map faster so we can actually start aggressing upon the enemies and I'll show you that when we get to the gameplay. After that we have pretty regular mods on that I usually run, strand unflinching and targeting here. We have on firepower, heavy handed, and a reaper mod. Those are going to let us spawn orbs of power. You can pause and read these mods more in depth at any point if you want to, but after we get those orbs of power we can then go ahead and pick them up with our absolution, our innervation, or our orbs of restoration. These will proc all together and give us a bunch of ability energy. And last but not least we have have two bomber mods on here. Every time we use a rift with two bomber mods, it's going to give us 17% of our grenade energy back. And with all that said, I think we have everything covered. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comment section or join the Blinkfeld Discord server. I'm going to have that link in the top right and in the description. At any point today, if you feel like you really enjoyed the video, you'd only leave me a like or subscribe. I'd very much appreciate that. And you better subscribe because if you don't, I'm going to come over and I'm going to freaking thumb wrestle you. And I swear to heck, I'm a pretty dang good thumb wrestler. So you're, you're going to be in for trouble, young man. Oh, you're a young woman. Whatever kind of freaky person you are, you know, you're, you're in trouble with those thummies. Now, all that said, I think we're ready to get in this gameplay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and blink on into it. Now, my very first round here is not even going to show you my strategy or the right loadout completely. I mean, I only had a different hand cannon on here because at first I wanted to do a 140. I really wanted to use my Ostringer. You can see I had a good play going on, 
but I started to notice like, okay, I don't think I can do a 140, just slap a 120 on and let's go from there. And once I put on this uh, round robin, I started feeling much better. Now, what you can see right there is my usual strategy. Of course, nowadays we have Dominion Trials, so I need to point that out to you. Look for the flag. If the flag is on Shrine or it's in middle, I recommend you blink straight to mid. If you can do so and throw a scatter nade straight down to the either left or the right side, I would recommend throwing it to the left side, or if you're looking where I'm looking right now, throw it to the right. If you're looking to where I'm looking on this spawn, throw it towards the uh, left for the most part, or you can do right, it really, it depends. Um, but the thing is, people stand there with snipers a lot. You can hit them really quickly with a scatter nade, and then go ahead and take a shot with your 120 hand cannon. If you hit them to the body, it'll do 50. If you hit them to the head, it'll do 80. Both of those are a big chunk of damage, which can help you get a very easy kill with that nade, proc devour, and go crazy after that. Now, I want to tell you right here, I did bag the heck out of these kids, because for some reason, the round before this, one of them bagged my teammate, my random. I was like, why? What the heck? He just randomly bagged him, and I was like, you know what? No. People are going to bag today. I'm going to put my nails right back in their face, and we clutched that up right there. You can see I got a beautiful Nova Bomb, so I was like, you know what? I'm getting vengeance for my random teammate. I even went in a team chat afterwards. I was like, GG. I had to bag him back for it, and he was like, yo, thank you, <laughs> and I was like, all right, there we go. Friend acquired. I will say, though, I got a lot less people bagging today uh, than last weekend. Last weekend was super toxic, and so far today, there hasn't been as many toxic people just like randomly bagging and stuff. So I guess that's a start. Um, I will say though, this weekend has been very laggy for me, a bunch of latency, and on top of that, my internet's not the best in the world, so then all that together has made this weekend a living hell so far. I have not enjoyed it. I've barely gotten that many uh, games in a row on any single card that I've done on my Hunter or my Warlock, so overall, it's just been a pain in the butt. And, and then I get teammates like this. My, my teammate luck has been fucking putrid this weekend. This guy, they, this was all randoms. I wanna, I wanna keep that in mind for you. This match right now that you see me in, all randoms, right? Six random people. You could take six kindergartners from their class, shake them up in a little Yahtzee cup, throw them out like the dice they are, and that is the kids in this match right now. Cool. Love it. How does the other team, tell me this right now, how does the other team manage to get two stasis warlocks, both of which are running Osmiomancy? So that's four cold snap grenades coming straight from my nuts, and my nuts shrink in the cold, and I don't want to deal with it. I hate stasis so much, anybody using it can suck my left one, I'm sick of it. But, on top of that, we had a kid on our team who just freaking rage quit. Awesome. Love it. I mean... By all means, if you're in a match that you can't win, go ahead and leave. I don't give a shit. I'll do it too. But if you're in a match that you can easily win, then stay in the match. And we could easily win this. And guess what? We went on to win this match. Spoiler alert, but watch this. The fucking Destiny Gods even wanted me to pack this kid in his ass. He thought he could shake his head back at me, no, after I shook my head at him for crutching his little stasis bus. No, I don't think so, sweetie pie. So I got my super there, went up behind him, ejaculated inside of him, threw my nade down there just in case that kid wanted to push back through his barricade, held down my aim on him, and then checked my radar after I got my teammate rezzed, blinked through this shield so I didn't take any damage from it so I could start resing this or capturing this zone and kind of bait them in. He goes for the spawn, but guess what? If your name is uh, Heart to Kill, you're kind of a loser, and I will tap the absolute crap out of you all day, get my kill clip procced, and smack his boyfriend just as easily to go ahead and clap up the entire match. You better believe I blinked back around this corner, took my disgustingly fat nutsack, and put it so far down this kid's throat that he's going to be tasting it on next year's Cinco de Mayo. So that's the state of the game right now. That's the state of my teammates this weekend. And then I get this. If you're wondering like, how laggy could the game really be for you, Roger? Look at that. Look at that. Either this bro got his fucking mentor to be Sonic the Hedgehog, or he's, you know, lag abusing his little cheekies off. I'm going to go ahead and say option two, because Sonic the Hedgehog would never mentor some little freak like him without getting at least a million dollars in the bag. So, that's been my teammate luck this week, but hey, enough about that. Let's talk about this build and what you've been seeing so far. As you can see, obviously, I am doing some aggressive plays sometimes like this, blinking behind my enemies, using my pocket singularity to put them into weird positions, and then taking them out with shotgun shots. But overall, I was being much less aggressive than something like last week when we had, obviously, Anomaly. This is the perfect start that I was telling you about. Blink into mid, take some primary shots while you throw your scatter nade. That's going to secure us a devour proc. Then we can fly in on the last of them and start taking them out very, very easily and more confidently. This kid just kept running and then he blew himself up anyways, you know, that's D2, baby. But once you have your devour proc'd, you gotta remember a few things. You're gonna get energy back to your grenade, which is very good for a build like this. As you can see, I'm coming in like the next round. I already have half my nade, and look at it chunking up. That's how much your nade chunks up just from 100 discipline. If you add in devour procs to that, and you add in picking up orbs of power, 
and you add in the energy that Clarence gives you back, because I believe Clarence does give you melee and grenade energy back, and all the mods that we have, you know, from this little orbs like I was telling you, then you get a lot of energy back to your nade. As you can see, we already have this nade back. This is a different round, obviously, so that's why my energy just kind of looked like it went down. <laughs> but overall, you get your nades back very fast, and you're using them at choke points so you can start getting those first picks on the rounds, and then go from there. I also want to say Hothead, P I think that's what that thing is called, I don't know. I, literally, people kind of sleep on this thing, PvP, I think, because look at this, just hooking. And if you can manage to get this in a round where people are really sitting on like a point or something and hold it, you can just hold it out and let the fuel build up, and you can just cook people. It's hilarious. So I will say, if you want to use a funny, uh, like, you don't have an exotic gun on, and you want to use a funny, exotic heavy, I would say take that gun, because it's actually just really funny. I was, I was having a few fun plays with it. I think I have one or two more plays in here with that gun, because it was just so... I gotta say, I recorded this after I did my Hunter video, which if you want to go ahead and watch my Lightning God build that I did for this weekend, I actually did a Sniper build, you can go ahead and watch that next, I'll have it on the end screen for you. But on this build, I wanted to do more so my, my, my primary shot and just pick a good primary gun. This one's super fun because I can use Kill Clip on it. Like I told you in the intro, that can let you two tap to the head. Very fun, does around 100 to 101 damage for each tap, so much fun. But I have Subsistence on it too, so sometimes I get a kill and Subsistence reloads my gun, and then I can't even reload it myself manually, which means I can't proc kill clip. <laughs> it's the funniest little interaction. And I just, like I said, I can't be bothered to play a bunch of PvE and get a new one crafted, or to get one crafted, I should say. Like, I just, I, I'm not doing it. I haven't played PvE in forever. I haven't done the weekly missions for this season since, like, week two, I want to say. I think I did week two, but I could even be mistaken about that. Like, I'm really just not doing it this this season guys and it's because of you know what i told you recently just why i've taken breaks from the game and just when i came back i was like you know what the only thing i want to do is trials and i've stuck to that the only thing i play in this game nowadays is trials there's two locations on this map or on this game that i go now uh the tower and trials of osiris for the weekend that's it if you see me loading in anywhere else somebody probably hacked my account because i do not travel anywhere else in this freaking solar system except for the trials map of that weekend and the tower so i can go stare at rahul and put my finger in his nose other than that i that's all i do that's it and i'm fine with it for now because the thing is i already have so many guns right my vault is full of stuff that i like to use some sleeper stuff that i pull out every now and again my meta stuff i don't really need new stuff but on top of that there's not new stuff bungie's not just gonna walk around the corner tomorrow and be like Hey, remember that six month season? Yeah, we were just kidding. Tee hee hee. Here's 50 new guns. No, we're not getting new guns, guys. We're not getting. So there's nothing for me to grind for, really, anyways. Like, there's a couple ones in the season that I could get, but guess what? I have 99 engrams for a ribbon that I can go and craft some stuff with, even without doing the actual seasonal stuff to get, like, the better chances for patterns and stuff. I don't even need to do that. I could just ram the engrams into ribbon, you know? I could just ram ribbon, like, just start ramming her, you know what I mean? And I could get probably all the weapons that I want crafted. Like, I do want the scalar potential, I think it's called, is the uh, pulse rifle, but other than that, it's like, whatever. What, no, actually, there's one more, I think. Is it a, is it a fused or a trace? Uh, I can't think right now, but the point is, it really just doesn't matter. There's, there's not that much new loot to get. What am I chasing? Warlord's Ruin? I did that when it came out with my friends a few times. Guess what? All they gave me was armor for the two, three times that I did whatever it was. Armor, armor, armor. Okay, screw this. And guess what? I don't even really care about any of the weapons you release in there. They all seem pretty dookie booty to me, and they're nothing that piques my interest. So who, what do I care? Here's a nice little two-tap for you guys, by the way, when I re-peek on this kid. I do miss the second shot, but even still, it's a two-tap. It's boom, 100, 101. Beautiful stuff right there. And uh, that's, that's kind of what I'm saying. But yeah, overall, it's just like, why would I even waste my time playing other stuff when there's nothing new for it? Oh, man. I think people were talking about server the other day. Uh, they were kind of, like, bashing on people. There's, like, PvE players, I guess, who think that PvP should just, like, be, like, completely out of the game, which I'm sure is, like, a very subset, small subset of people, right? Um, it's just crazy to me, because then they were kind of talking about how it's, like, if you're a PvE player and you're in this content route that we're in, what are you doing? Like, you better go learn to play PvP or else what are you doing on D2? And I, I was kind of curious about that too. I didn't really join the conversation when they were talking about it. You should join the server because we do talk about crazy stuff all the time. Like earlier today, I told them I bet Santa Claus for one. I, I bet he can clap his fat cheeks because, I mean, he's thick as heck. And I said, I bet Toothless the Dragon can get some absolute slobber knocking head because he has no teeth, right? You know it. So if that's the kind of conversation you would like to be a part of, I would recommend joining the Discord server. But we also talk about D2 sometimes. And kind of when I saw that, I was just like, yeah, I mean, I, I feel their sentiment because it's like, Seriously, for the PvE players, what are you doing right now? 
as you, the content's so dry. It's just, I'm, I'm interested. So if you're mostly a PvE player, tell me, what the, how, how do you spend your time on this game? I would love to know. Good round here, um, and this match is actually really funny because me and the two other teammates, like I said, I had terrible teammate luck. The one teammate on my team, um, his name was Captain Payne here. He was really cool. You can see our chats right here because this nerd guy was doing literally nothing. I mean, like, literally nothing. I think this was the match that I had, like, 18 kills at the end of it, and it was just, like, I'm, I was I was literally telling him, I was like, I'm sick of this. So he got a good res on me there. I, I went behind his shield so I could just pick up as much avoid overshield as possible and let myself heal before I re-peeked. I was able to re-peek and knock a guy out, and then I quickly reloaded so I could grab kill clip and try to two-tap somebody else, because I knew it was probably on my shoulders to do a 1v3 here. Uh, fortunately for me, though, Nerd, for the first time in history, actually did something, and he traded there. So me and my teammate immediately went and chat. We were like, he did it! He did something! But it was just hilarious. Either way, guys, this is the last clip I have for you guys, so I want to say thank you again for watching. Uh, if you want to leave me a like or subscribe to really get the engagement on this video up and help me in the YouTube algorithm, I'd very much appreciate that. But I'm going to let this last clip play out, and that is it for me today, so as always, have a great day, Guardians.